the mood is very sober and death is a death we all owe. It can happen to you anytime. So the person that died has paid his own debt by going home to rest. So may he so rest in peace. I myself am just lucky to be alive because I had an accident five months ago and the accident was very bad. So anybody that is alive should just give glory to God. So all of us, we are, we are not happy, but life must continue. Thank you very much. And uh, oh, uh, as uh, you've known, he's a gentleman to the core. He was once uh, an ambassador, one time chief of staff to one of our governors in Plato State, and uh, a deputy governor as well, and now a senator. All along, uh, uh, apart from being a brother, as a leader, so humble, and we've been together, whatever we want to do, you know, we move as a team from Plato State. It has been too nice, and it's a great loss to all of us. Uh, I don't know, but the big good the glory, because it has happened, and there's nothing we can say, we say, well, that's what good wants. To say thank you, Lord. Yes, but uh, we are full of grief as of now. The whole Plateau State is confused because this is gentleman that uh, everybody look onto. Plateau State. That's how it happened. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Because uh, for me, we are just getting to know him as a member of this uh, Night Senate. And of course, uh, as a member of our caucus from the North Central, uh, he's been a very, you know, patient human being. My understanding of the few interactions I've had with him, he's so humble, very unassuming. And as you can see from his profile, he doesn't exude all those, uh, you know, personality that he has passed through. Uh, he's always interested in how things can be done to solve problems. And so it's a very great loss for this assembly because we're just about settling down to benefit from the wealth of experience that he has, uh, having served in various capacities, to, serve, uh, to have served as an ambassador, a chief of staff, a deputy governor. You know, these are experiences that this country needs at this time. And uh, for us to have lost him, Given his, you know, maturity and you know wisdom, I think it's really great loss. But we take solace in the fact that he has served his people very well, and he will be remembered for many good things he has done in the course of his career. So that we take solace in, because God knows better. Thank you. I'm Senator Idi Yang. I come from the same state with the deceased Senator, uh, His Excellency uh, Ignatius Longjan. Uh, I was privileged as uh, one coming from the same state with him to know that uh, he has served this nation as a seasoned career uh, diplomat, uh, serving in consular offices of this nation across the globe. Uh, came down to 2007 when he came to Plateau State and was appointed the Chief of Staff to the government uh, up to 2011. From 2011 he became Deputy Governor up to 2015 and from there 2019 elected uh, a Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and I've been serving with him right from the state uh, down here as his colleague. He's a gentleman to the core. He's uh, served this nation patriotically. He's one that uh, He's a man of peace, and personally, he has given me fatherly backing, uh, fatherly advices, and I've enjoyed his fatherly friendship. He's someone that we'll be missing, someone that has stood for Plateau State, stood for this nation, and we celebrate him even in death. We pray for his family, his immediate wife and family, and indeed Plateau State and the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that God will console us, and that his virtues and legacies will endure even after his departure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, our distinguished colleague that was presented Plateau South. Indeed, as you can see, uh, a sad day for the Senate. If you, if you recall, only last Thursday, our plenary, we just um, 
we are taking a decision on having a voluntary section tomorrow for late uh, Senator Majimogu. Only for us to hear over the weekend too that we have lost another distinguished you know, colleague representing Plateau South. Indeed, it's very sad, you know. And uh, the trend, you know, that, uh, that has evolved over time is the one that makes, you know, the National Assembly and specifically the Senate, you know, ask, call for prayers. You know, we should at this point, you know, you know, ask for God's mercy, not just for ourselves, for our country. And then, of course, you know, that uh, those of us that are in service to our fatherland, you know, are in the best state of mind, you know, health wise, you know, and all other things too that will pertain to good life for us. All these ones, really, you know, they are disturbing. And indeed, uh, we don't pray that it happens again. You know, it's, it's getting too rampant. You know, if you recall too, before we resumed, you know, uh, on the 28th of, uh, of January, we had the same problem. We had the same problem of losing a member in the House of Representatives. And then, of course, you know, that has been the story, that has been the trend. And I pray that God will break, will break this trend, you know, and give us a bonus line so that we'll be able to serve our father now. Thank you very much. Yeah. How's the top pepper for you? What's been your reaction regarding the loss of your colleague, Well, um, it's a very sad day for us in the Senate and a very great loss of one of a fine gentleman who time in the Senate will be greatly missed. Senator Long Jam is a very unique person. He's a fine gentleman. He's an astute politician by excellence. His loss will not only be an affairs of the Senate but also of Nigeria at large. Because this is somebody who came into the Senate with a great mind, with a great vision to add value to the development of the country called Nigeria. But it is sad that we are missing him or losing him at this point. And all we can say is for God to grant him, the, his family, the fortitude to bear this great loss and at this point in time. And it is our hope that this event will not repeat itself again in the life of the night Senate. So going forward, airlines must be on deck to look after the welfare and the well-being of all the senators from the area of health of each of the senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So we'll be greatly missed and we are looking forward to celebrating by the time the fin final barrier will be put in place. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, inevitable. But in few months that I worked with both senators, they proved themselves to be a human being, a God-fearing person. So I pray to God Almighty to grant both of them a eternal freedom and give the family ability to bear the loss. May God help us. Thank you. We thank God that uh, those of us who are here are still alive and well and we continue to trust Him. But all of these speak to the mortality, you know, of uh, the human nature, you know, and the fact that at the end of the day, all that will be left will be the kind of legacy, you know, that we all uh, left behind. And the extent to which we are able to impact life and impact positively, you know, the state of our nation. Uh, it's a very sad uh, development, extremely sad. Uh, but again, it's a reminder of the fact that in another 30, 40 years from here, it will not matter for how long we even live. It will not matter what kind of food we ate, what kind of clothes we wore. It will not matter what kind of cars we drove or what kind of houses we lived in. What will matter is the extent to which we allowed God to enable us to use our positions to positively influence you know on the lives of the nigerian people and the quality of life that we're able to enhance through the work that we do on a daily basis like i said it's a sad situation
Thank you very much.